Hi, I'm Vivian, and I work on Instagram's transparency and controls team. You might know us as a team that makes Instagram feed personalized to your experience. I'm so happy to be a member of this team. It's an amazing opportunity to work on exciting, challenging, engineering problems every single day. I started out as a self-taught developer, and from my humble beginnings making yet another wet weather app, I've grown as an iOS developer and open source contributor. Had the joy of collaborating with talented iOS dev teams at Facebook, Apple, and Eventbrite, and now ship features that millions around the world use on a daily basis. I joined Instagram in 2020 after dropping out of college. I wanted to work on real products and have an impact in tech, and Instagram has been a great home for me. So how does Instagram make your feed feel amazing? And what is the transparency and controls team? Your feed is great because we listen to a variety of shared signals to curate the best one. Let's break this up. Transparency means empowering users to understand and have agency over Instagram. So it's the best and most personalized experience for them. Controls is the mechanics by which the app helps you get the best feed by using a variety of actions to inform content selection. Like curating your feed by your favorite people, AKA the close friends list for feed. Um, bringing you fresh content like the recommendations you see in the middle of your feed and at the end of your feed. And last but not least, and back by popular demand, chronological feed. Before I joined this team, I had my own idea of how this feed was architected. Like everyone from the outside looking in, I wanted to guess about this great product was made. I thought it was one big collection view, and I honestly wondered how the team was able to make it so performant. Instagram has millions and millions of daily active users and rare crash events on the feed. So I was eager to learn more about how they have implemented the feed so effectively. Once I joined the team, I learned the secret sauce, IG list care. We'll dive into why it's so great in a moment, but my favorite thing to share about this framework is that it's open source. That means I get to share with you today and you get to start using it today. Let's do some quick housekeeping so you know what you're in for today. First, we're gonna talk about what. Even though the framework is a few years old, it's not something everyone has heard of. So I'll quickly bring you up to speed. Next, who? We'll break down the target audience for this framework and talk a little bit about some of the teams that benefit from and contribute to IG List Care. Then we'll dig into why, addressing the pain points of the teams that might find IG List Kit helpful and some healthy end team goals that you can aim for with this framework. And finally, I'll touch on when. When is the right time to bring IG List Kit into your project? Are you ready? Let's go. First, let's get into what IG List Kit is. IG List Kit is a data-driven UI collection view framework developed by the team at Instagram and later open source for building out fast and flexible lists. It's still a super simple UI collection view at its core, but with a little bit of love from the team, it's so, so much more powerful. Any kind of data type that you have that you need to represent in a feed, IG List Kit can handle for you. It's a product of years of thoughtful architecture and some inspired refactoring. And most importantly, it's not just an internal tool. It's open source. We love that because it's not just limited to Instagram. So it's something that you can bring to your feeds of any product you work on. IG List Kit is well maintained and well documented. For those of you who aren't new to this framework, it's evolved in some great ways since its introduction. It's out of the box. This is a framework that you can start using since on day one. It's easy to get started because the incredible engineers at Instagram have done a lot of the work for you. It's executed on main, no need to worry about multi-threading, no need to worry about processes that are executing, and it's unit tested. We've taken care of that for you. Did we mention it's out of the box? IG List Kit empowers you to remove, reorder, add, and update views in linear time. Never call, perform batch update, or reload data again. We're pretty proud of that. And it's one of the hallmarks of why Instagram feed feels so seamless to end, to, to end users, even at scale. So what else makes IG List Kit special? For one, it has reusable cells and components, which we love keeping our code consistent and readable and minimizes errors and bugs. The diffing algorithm is decoupled from the framework, so you're able to customize diffing behavior for your models. This flexibility makes IG List Kit suitable for a range of products, no matter what you're using UI collection views for. 
Okay, let's talk about the root of ID list kit um, early. ID feed item. This item is very simple, a header, a media item, followed by some text, and all the things you're used to in the very basic version of IG's feed. The current day concept of feed using IG list kit lets users view stories, reels, trays, survey, and infinite other data models in collected views. You can start with one basic data type, i.e. IG feed item, and extend to so many more cases. No matter what you're building, if you if you have a feed and need a collection view, IG list kit is it extendable to suit your needs. So we have it in stories, we have it in shopping, we have it in reels. Um, it also, like stories, uses IG list kit. Okay, so now that we know what IG list kit is, let's talk about who it's for. First off, part of the reason we decided it's open source is that it's not just for Instagram. This framework is literally for any team that uses UI collection views. We want to make your lives easier and have decided to maintain and share this framework as one of the ways Instagram gives back to the tech community. So, who are good candidates for UI collection views and therefore ID list kit? Does your product have a feed, an explore page, a profile view? You're probably leveraging UI collection views and you can probably do it more impactfully using ID list kit. The possibilities are endless, just like the feeds ID list kit supports. Okay. So let's talk about why. So you use UI collection views and you know that this framework might help your team be more performant, but you wanna make sure it's the right fit before you make a decision, especially if you're thinking about a major refactor. We've got two ways to look at this framework to solve, to solve pain points and lift great teams to the next level. One of these angles is gonna resonate with your team no matter what stage of the development cycle you're in. We'll start with We'll, we'll start with the pain points. Raise your hand if one of the following statements applies to you. Do you have ordering or threading issues? Do you work with multiple data types and struggle to surface them interchangeably? How about the time-consuming work of writing those necessary but cumbersome unit tests? ID list kit might be the good, good fit for your team. But even if you don't have those struggles, your team can always use an up-level. An ID list kit might be the right way to do that. If any of the following sounds aspirational, we've got you covered. You want to be able to make laser feed focus feed updates and not call, perform batch updates or reload data. You want better feed architecture by design. You want to make smart decisions about data types and architecture without having to learn the hard way. And lastly, you want a better version of UI collection view as part of your day-to-day -to -day set. All right, so we've talked about what Idealist Kit is who it's designed for, and why your team needs to use it. But when should you bring your, this framework to your feed architecture? So of course, early is always better. If you have a brand new product, you can set some great patterns right out of the gate, and we definitely encourage you to do this. However, IG List Kit was not Instagram's first pass at feed architecture, so don't be afraid to refactor. It's a huge pain point for a lot of teams, and IG List Kit can, tr can transform your feed architecture for the better. To sum up, we've talked about what ID List Kit is, who it's for, why to use it, and when to bring it to your projects. There's a reason this framework has over 1,500 forks and countless integrations. It's simply a better way to use UI collection views. Whether you're new to a team or looking to refactor, no matter what type of data type you're using, and no matter what kind of feed you're presenting, we know that you want to do it as quickly and performant as possible and IG List Kit is here to help. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I can't wait to scroll through your feeds.